Hello guys, so I'm here speaking to... Xiaohao. Xiaohao. Okay, yeah. uh, what project are you working on? Uh, vlog. Vlog. Could you tell me a little bit more about Vlog and explain to me like a five year old? Oh yeah, it's a, it's an AI training platform basically, but then the way that we work is we don't have to ask the user to send any of their private data over. So the model can actually train with the community. And then whatever, whenever the model is trained and it's being used by a third party like an agent or a hospital that you get a revenue share from the whole internet. So that's how we run the business. So basically it's a decentralized AI model training. Yeah. Uh, my next question is that why do you opt for decentralization? Like, is there a certain risk that you see in centralized AI these days? Yeah, like you have to send your data over to an API, right? For many use cases like healthcare, like like agent or personal companion, you don't want your data to be controlled by a third party. That like you don't want to send your chat history with your ex to a, no, <laughs> <don't know. laughs> to a third party company, right? But we want to get them local, so that's where why we want to do DAI. I see that's how you came came up with the idea. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, because you mentioned something about incentives. I wonder if there's like some contradicting going on though, because like if they incentivize to train the AI model, does it mean they care more about the, the token's reward itself? The, actual high yeah. quality AI training model then. Yes, but then in a current centralized world, we all we are all annotators, right? We, we are all helping those centralized companies to train those models, but none of us getting any revenue shared. Mm. So it's actually changing the whole dynamic of how the models train and how every contributor like us can actually get a share of it. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's helping the industry go better. Well, it's funny enough because what you told me is kind of aligned with what Pondi Inks is doing. I and I so. happen to know that there's like a collaboration going on. Yeah, yeah, could, we have one. Yeah. yeah, could you tell me more about how well, that yeah, goes? So it's a very cool idea that they have a rich data of football and football, you know, everything about football, football intelligence. So we actually asked the whole, the both community to train a football agent model that can actually uh, help you maybe guessing the result or, or analysis, uh, analyz uh, analyzing the, the, the situation on the, on the pitch and then what's the next goal, whatever. And so it's, it's actually an agent that can actually help you watch football and then make it maybe wiser decisions when you come with some, some betting ideas, yeah. Well, I can't wait to try that myself. So if users want to know more about Flops.io or want to try that platform, where they can do that? Yeah, basically Flops.io. So everyone, everything's on our platform. And so, yeah, everyone can try it out. Nice. I can't wait. So nice talking yes. to you. Thank you.